All right, guys. I said I was going to do four videos, but this is the third one. And the final video, video for today. And today's video, <clears throat> if you watch the Fortnite video, and I said something about giving my Fortnite character a ride. Now, he got his place. I'm fixing it up. I'll probably show that more at the end of the video. Now, I was digging into my old totes, and I found this speeder bike from Star Wars. No, I did not buy it from Toys R Us, but I had been having this speeder bike for a long, long time. But I've been itching, itching to, I mean, itching to open it up. So, I'm finally, I'm going to open it up. It is a um, diorama piece. You know, everything is Star Wars. It's from the Clone Wars. Um, I originally, I, and I originally they came from Toys R Us only, but I bought it from Rosie's. Now, some people probably know what Rosie's is, and some people probably not know what Rosie's is. Now, Rosie's, now, how the best way I can explain that story if you're a person who don't know what Rosie's is. Um, Rosie's is a store that you can buy a little bit of anything. You can buy TVs in there. You can buy um, TV stands in there. Not good ones, but enough to put your TV stand on there to say, oh, it's holding the TV. You can buy clothes in there. And you can buy toys that you have not seen in a long time that you might miss. Play with like places like Toys R Us or maybe an exclusive. You might even find a, a brat doll in there from 20 years ago. I don't know. And the only reason I said that because I was watching a video this earlier today about brass dolls and that just popped in my head. So, that's Rosie's, all in a nutshell. Um, so, I had this thing maybe about four, no, about, about six years in my collection. I've been itching to really find that, that, that perfect action figure that I want to hope and pray they would fit this speeder bike. And I told you I want to give him a futuristic type ride. And this is futuristic to me. Something that you might see. And I know it's Star Wars, but I'm going to make it something, as something that you still will see like on our planet Earth, but this is what we came up with. Now I know it comes with a character. Eh, I, might, I might do a review on him or not. So I'm going to cut away open it up and I might get made somebody go past me and say oh no don't open it but I got to I've been dying to open it so we're gonna see what's in it we're gonna check it out and then before we check it out there's some other stuff that you can get in the line close your eyes guys I don't want to see um there's some other figures you can get in this line some of it's cool some I wouldn't still mind getting I know they're probably really hard to get off of eBay or Amazon whatever the case may be um, I'm going to bring them up just a little bit closer. You can see that. There you go. There's the back of it. Da, 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 da. Show you how to assemble it. Da, 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 da. And the stuff on the sides. But I'm going to, I guess I'm going to cut away. Be right back. Let's check this out. Let's see how cool it is. Out of the packaging. And I love it. I like opening up stuff. That's who I am. All right, guys. I'm back. I took everything out of the packaging. I was messing with it a lot. And, um... For an older figure, older figure and an older toy is not bad at all. I actually was in, really enjoy playing with it. If you knew how long I would took me to finish off this video, you were like, wow. And you'll see why. Um, the articulation is really nice, for, like I said, for an older toy. Uh, you do have a background diorama, but I ripped it up so bad. Um, it's, the, oh, I'm trying to show the background diorama. Here it goes right there, guys. It's, you can see a little bit of it, um, but it's a nice, it's a really nice toy. Um, I wish I opened up it sooner. Let's go to show you some of the details of it. It's not too much details on there. Now this strap right here, um, you can clamp it, um, put it on here like like so, like that. Um, the foot pegs do move up and down, as you can see. You had two peg holes before the original finger was supposed to go in there. He does have peg holes on there. I'm trying to see how he fits. Here's the handlebars right here. Handlebars are nice and soft. It's like a um, 
like an indicator or a light or something, I guess it's supposed to be. I don't really remember. Um, in the movies, um, here's the backup. Be, be truthful if you ask the backup. This is the, the on the wing portion. Here's the body of it. It's a nice, good, nice little piece. Um, for what for what it is, what it do for. Um, it does come with um, a clone figure. Um, and everything. But I wasn't really doing the review on it. I just really wanted to see how he would look, look on that. Now, unfortunately, remember with the, um, in the video, I said, oh, I wouldn't want to take his tail off. But unfortunately for him to sit on there, I had to pop his tail off. So it's really easy. I just popped it back on there. It's no easy. As I can tell, the tail do rotate all around. So what I did was, I just easy pop off his tail. I put him on the bike like so. I unsnapped this piece right here. And I pretty much, I'm going the wrong direction. At first, I thought he supposed to sit on the bike going this direction. But he doesn't. He sit on the bike going this direction. Because that's where the handlebar is at. And you can't sit on this direction. There's no way he can, you can really control it. You can't buckle up. You see what I'm saying? So it got to go this direction. It would be cool. If it did go that direction, he could sit back, and then, but then the feet would go like that. But it's not gonna work. So he goes in the bike like this. And you see, he got two peg holes. Now you got to shift these on the um, peg a little bit, Just like so. It's not gonna sit flush. But I got it pretty decently, like what I like. But I would say okay, uh, it'll look good in the pictures. I might I might pause and come back and show you the final product if it, if it's like it's taking too long. I wish this peg hole was more in the center, more right. I show you what I wish. I wish the peg hole was more when this foot was more right there than here. Then it sit more flush. But they didn't design it for him. I know that for a fact. So I'll put his foot here and here. Like so. Put his hands. Push that down. Put his hands here. I had him on there. I took him off because I wanted to show you how I put him on there. And here and here strap bend his knees like so so you can strap him in Clamp it in like that. Be careful, this piece of plastic is thin. So it might break over you on, on over time, but I don't try to mess with it that much. It's gonna pretty much use it for a short piece. But if it breaks, it well. It is what it is. I'm happy. I'm trying to get it around his, his little thing right here. So, put his hands like, like that. Try to get his hands like they're fitting this, the, the thing. Put them like that. Probably get a little bit of what I'm trying to do, guys. I'm just trying not to really hold you up, but that's what I was trying to really go for. And everything to get a nice little cool little style. It's futuristic type bike. You can bring this out because you're supposed to be able to use these as a, a stand like that. And that's pretty that's pretty much what I want to do. And he is on.
his little adventure somewheres. I don't know where. So there he goes. So how you like it? it looks cool. Um, I'm gonna leave leave in the comments below. I might I think I want, what I want to name this shit, but leave in the comments below what you think I should name his rod. Now remember what his name is in the comments. Something to fit that. So that's it. So everybody have a great night or a great morning or a good evening, whatever it may be, what time you're watching this. Be safe out there. Enjoy your collection, whatever it is, and be safe out there once again. If I said that twice, then I did. And um, I'll talk to y'all guys on the next video with the Hollyman, Man. And that's all, folks. Thank you for